Hello everyone, today is episode 3 of ZBrush Rush for the 9th of May 2013. As you can see, we're going to do a, another human face today. So I start off with a Z sphere and then I just polysphere. Why do I keep calling them that? They're called polyspheres. But I start off just making the most basic shape of a human head with a sphere, a cylinder for the neck, and a, another sphere for the chest, which I just sculpted out into a basic chest shape. The beginning of the video is going to be pretty fast, but that's just because I want to get over with a basic... I don't want to get bored you guys to just making basic shapes of a human bust. I'm just working on proportions here. In a little bit, I'm going to, like right here, I'm going to pan over and show you guys me using the transpose unit or tool to set the units to one so I can easily tell where the half is and where the quarter of it is. The half of the human face is where the eyes usually start. Uh, half from that to the bottom is where the nose ends and half from that is where the middle of the mouth usually goes. I'm just tilting the face up a little bit, make him look straightforward. Working with the uh, jawline, trying to establish a nice male jaw. I took a really different approach to this sculpt. I'm using I followed a tutorial on YouTube, which the description will be in the video. The guy sculpts in clay, and you know it's a, it's a good lecture to watch. So I just decided to use a uh, so by just making a uh, very dense polygon model. You can follow along just like it would be real clay. Around here, he um, picks out the or sculpts where the eye canal should be. What he does is he um, he does a little heart shape where the middle of the lips should separate, and then uses that as a base for a muzzle where he keeps that and sculpts everything else away which helps establish uh, the, one of the major planes of the face as well as the how far the lips and the nose should protrude later. I'm just working on again the basic shapes of uh, the bottom lip masking it off so I can work on the top one. Okay so now I'm just trying to uh, smooth everything else out around. Working on the chin a little bit making it more pronounced you know because it'll be a male after all. At first I started using the clay builder brush, but to better mimic the uh, you know, clay sculpt I'm trying to follow, I switched to the clay brush and used that for most of the sculpt. That and the move brush. Him just redrawing the lines to show where the nose and the eyes should start by using the Damien, Damien standard brush. I'm just trying to transition the plane between where the nose should be and the mouth or the cheeks. Then here I switch back to show you guys um, a regular human eye. This should be the space between two eyes should be just another eye. So I showed you guys. I wanted to demonstrate that by starting off with the sphere and then just separating two two of them by the distance between one of them. Again, just working on uh, establishing basic eye shape. One, the brow, obviously. And right here, this is how I did the uh, eyelashes, or not eyelashes, uh, eyelids. I just imported or appended another sphere and I just dynamesh it down so it was easier to use. And I used the move tool. I find this to be easier than actually sculpting out of the uh, base mesh because the base mesh wasn't high resolution enough and I didn't want to, you know, go that high because I thought I'd do this now and then later merge them all together, which I will show you how I did it, and then just re dynamesh it and then after that cure mesh it so I can have a better dis distribute of um, polygons where I need them. I'm just working on some of the uh, eye fat 
that like, kind of hangs down from your eyebrows. Trying to get that uh, indent in between your eyes, which was, should be the deepest part of your face. Instead of importing more spheres and working it that way, I just decided to duplicate the top eyelash or eyebrow, no, eyelid, sorry, and just uh, work with that. So I'm usually just using a trim dynamic here to establish easier planes. Right now I'm working on some of the fat for the cheekbones, so I decided to first sculpt out where they would be and then add the uh, fat later. Or the zygomatic bone, I believe that's what they're called as well. I did at least spend a little bit too much time on it, just kind of messing around. I believe it turned out to be you're good at the end, but you don't even see it really after you add all the fat from the nose and such. And the cheek fat that kind of folds over to show how old people are. Just switching back to the uh, eyebrows and trying to get a good shape for that. Here's why I uh, merged them all and then I tried to uh, dynamesh it, but it turned out to just be three different sub uh, sub tools, which is a really big method if you try to smooth it. Like right here, you can see when I, if I smooth it, there's three separate tools, so that's not the way you're supposed to do it. So I appended them all, dynameshed it, and then used the new um, cube mesher that makes wherever I add a mask to much more dense in polygons than anywhere else. which will help the computer performance and add more detail to the areas you want like the eyelids and the nose well mouth but also the nose like the uh, nose holes what are they called? nostrils that's it here because um, again I'm using the undo history you don't see the eyes in there so it looks kinda strange it's just being the lids but I had the spheres in there and were moving around to properly position the placement of the eyes. Not the placement of the eyes, but the spherical nature of the eyelids. You know, because it has to wrap around the sphere, obviously. Your eyeballs are round. With this sculpt, I'm trying to go with a more uh, subtle approach. The other ones have been more like super defined cheekbones or like I, like I mentioned in the last episode more cartoonish so I tried to go for a realistic approach here it turned out alright turned turn out amazing I think but I don't want to spend more time on the sculpt I just want to move on to the next one because I mean I could spend forever just working on one sculpt over and over and over but I feel like you need to know when I say it's a, it's a good attempt I don't know, try, start from the beginning and try it again. Which I will be doing. Soon. Here I'm starting to work um, on the nose, I believe. Let me see. Yeah. Now I'm using the, oh, I'm still moving the nose here, but when I was moving out the cheekbones there, I'm using the Trim Dynamic brush to just kind of add a nice smoothness to everything. So I still want the actual mask to be there, so I'm not going to use this, 
the actual smooth tool but if you just trim down the uh, the roughness of it and make it more round with the trim dynamic brush it feels more like like again sculpting which is what I'm trying to mimic here here I start digging out the uh, the fat of the cheeks just to well, I don't know. So we're just working on the nose, trying to get a good overall shape. Like I said before, if you uh, draw a line from the chin all the way to the top of the head, halfway through is where the eyes are, and then halfway from that to the bottom is where the nose should end. So if you look at the side of the face, by the uh, where the ear should be, you can see a line, and at the beginning that you know that came all the way over, and that's where the nose ends. Now that I smoothed it, you don't really see it anymore. It's always a good placement for it. I had a big problem with the eyes, and I still don't think they look right there. Something missing about them. I don't know what it is. Not the, not the eyeballs, actually. I mean, the eyeballs are there. You just can't see them because of the way I captured the video. But they're there. Obviously, the muscles that connect the cheekbone that move your lip. It starts in the cheekbone and moves your whole mouth. They're not there, but here I'm adding the fat in, which is covering them up because you only see them on the human face. Unless you look at like a two face, you know, from the Batman movie, you can see them there. On the one side of the face, that's burnt up. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I was just trying to make the overall shape of the nose. I started adding a nose, more nostrils, but I don't think they were in the right position, so I smoothed them and just started to work on the cheeks a little bit more. I had a hard time working with the folds that start from the nose and go down to the side of your mouth, because you know the more def defined they are, the older the person looks. But if they're not existent, it just looks very strange. So sculpting anything without uh, hair or eyebrows is very hard to get used to. Here is a really important part of making a male is to... A uh, female face, but the forehead is more round, like you can see like the actual sphere. But on a male, you need to shave it back a little bit and I use the Trim Dynamic brush and that gives it more of a, um, a primal primate feature of the face, which is, you know, evolution and such. We're not going to get into that right now. Also, from watching another lecture, I learned that I think the neck might be out of, uh, or too long. From the bottom of the chin to the top of the face is, or top of the head is, that's, like I'd say that's one unit. That same unit should be the, the neck length, and it should also be the length of the clavicle bones. So it looks okay, Haber, but you know, I didn't measure it. I believe in a little bit here. If you look inside the face where the eyes end, where the eyes start and the nose ends, if you draw a line to the side of the face that next to the jawline, that's where the uh, ear hole is. That's also where I'm going to show you guys right here. In the middle of the ear, or, or where the actual canal is, is if you draw a line from the zygomatic bone, which is the cheekbone, all the way over. So to do the ear, I just start off with a uh, polycube, and just got it down the same size as the rectangle I drew on the head. And after I got the right um, position, I just used the data mesh on it and started, started to sculpt on it. The hardest part was um, penning it back into the ear, or the, the face later, and then smoothing it all out.
If you look, if you look at a fishing hook, how it curves around back onto itself, it's you know a basic shape with the ear, especially the inner like ridge of it. But like I said, I, I, um, I will post the link to the tutorials watching of a guy sculpting for, I think, some sort of lecture. It was really good at the end. Um, our sculpts look nothing alike. His is a lot better, obviously. He's, uh, yeah, I think he's the guy who worked on like all the G.I. Joe toys for like the longest time. He mentioned something about that. I think I looked up his name. So after that, I had to do the same process that I did with the uh, eyelids, with uh, merging everything, appending a new subtool, which is the combined mesh, dynameshing it, then cure meshing the areas I want to have more polygons in to re-sculpt everything, because after that it looks like all jumbled together mess like the back of the ear there. So yeah, I have to go back in there and just sculpt everything on it. But I believe that it's better that, to do that than have, um, you know, like, low polygons in some areas and have it look really strange. Like, you have two choices. You can keep it low, but, like, those areas are, like, look boxy, you know, polygonal. Or you can just keep dividing it over and over and take a real toll on your computer if you want to, you know, if you want to smooth in some areas. Here I'm going back into the nostrils, trying to work them out. Smoothing the nose again because after I did the whole uh, attaching the ear thing, most of the stuff is uh, not smooth. <laughs> That's a long pause. So yeah, this is just the uh, the final stage of the sculpt, just smoothing everything out, making it look like a nice clean finish. Nothing too extreme. I believe I work in the mouth for like a second or two just trying to add some uh, volume to the lips. Overall I believe the sculpt turned out okay. Um, it's really only like my third human face I believe. I did one about a year ago, which just looks awful, but we won't talk about that. So anyway, if you guys um, have any questions or would like me to sculpt anything in the future, I know somebody mentioned a female face, which I will get around to it, up uploading that eventually. But yeah, like I said, if you have any questions or anything, just feel free to leave a comment. Subscribe if you want more of these videos. They are weekly. Summer school just started, but... I can, I can do both, it's fine, don't worry about it. Yeah, and uh, thank you for watching. And, you know, the songs.